Hi everyone, it's Hermione and today's video is going to be an IKEA DIY room decor video. I did one of these a few months ago and I used just mainly things that I found in IKEA and it seemed to go down pretty well with you guys so I wanted to make another one. I think the fun thing about IKEA is that it's available in most countries pretty much and it's really cheap so it's in everyone's budget and anyone can do any of these DIYs. If you are new here don't forget to click the subscribe button down below and then you can see my videos all of the time and and also, if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thumbs up because that makes me really happy and it makes me know that you guys like this kind of video. Also, all of my social media is listed down below so you guys can go check that out too. And without further ado, let's get on to the user room decor DIYs. This DIY is a clock and it's fully customizable to exactly how you want it. And this cost me £1.95 and stuff I had lying around the house. So I started by taking the £1.95 clock and I put a screwdriver in the little hole at the bottom at the back and I poked it through. This popped off the clear protective piece of plastic on the front which I took away for a while and then I popped off the arms of the clock. Remembering which order they went in, that's really important. So I used some scrapbook paper and then used that front piece of plastic and drew around it because it's the perfect circle. I then cut it out making sure it was ready to add to the clock in a minute. But the first thing I had to do before that was spray paint the clock. I then mod podged the inside of the clock and added that piece of scrapbook paper onto it. Making sure that there was a hole poked through the centre of the paper of course. I then added the arms of my clock which I also spray painted that gold colour. And then I put the front back in place and that's literally it. It's so easy and very cute and it doesn't cost much at all to make. This is my favourite DIY that I have ever made. I sit on it every night in front of the radiator and it's just a giant floor pillow and I love it. So I took some fabric from Ikea. I used about 80 centimetres worth of this. It costs £5 a metre. I cut it down to size and because it was folded over it was perfect. The size fit perfectly. So I folded it inside out and I sewed along two sides and then I left the one opposite the fold completely open. I will leave all the fabric measurements down below so you can make this with any kind of fabric but the IKEA ones are really thick and sturdy. Anyway, I did this on a sewing machine but you can use fabric glue too, whatever you feel comfortable using. I then took three of these inner pillows from IKEA. They were £1.50 each and I took out all of the stuffing. I then added the stuffing to the pillow using that front opening that I hadn't already sealed up. That's why I left quite a big opening so that I could fluff up all the stuffing that was inside. So once once all three pillows were in there, I fluffed it and I patted it down and then I folded the sides of the opening over as you can see here to make a nice clean line. I used pins to pin the fabric in place down the whole side of this pillow and then I took it straight to my sewing machine to sew straight Once up. Once again you can use fabric glue or hand stitch this, just make sure that it's perfectly tight and it's not going to come undone. Once it was all sewn up, I just threw it on the floor and I sat on it and it's absolutely so comfortable. I love it so much. It really didn't take very long to make. So this really is my favorite DIY I've made to date. And on to the next one, this canvas, which really nicely matches the clock that I just made. You'll never guess what this is made out of. It's actually made out of a tea towel. And these are from Ikea, you get two in a pack. And I used a canvas which I got in Poundland, some hot glue and some letters. So I'm taking the canvas and I'm literally just wrapping it in the tea towel, cutting the towel to place and then cutting notches in the side so I can fold it over and glue it with the hot glue gun. It's kind of like wrapping a present, but instead of a present, it's a tea towel on a canvas. <laughs> um, basically just make sure it's really really tight and if you want you can iron it beforehand. I wish I'd kind of done that. And then I'm taking these letters which I got online from a scrapbook store and I'm spelling out girl boss because it fit on my canvas and I really like that phrase. And once again I'm just using the hot glue gun to fix those letters in place. This is just really fun because you can personalize the phrase, the colors, anything you want and it was really cheap to make something that not everyone else is going to have. And finally, let's get on to these jewellery plates I made with some plates from Ikea. These were like 50p each. This is so simple, I just used masking tape to mask off the design I wanted. Geometric designs obviously work much easier because you can do things like stripes and diagonals. And this is the design I came up with. 
Once it was taped off, all I did was use some gold spray paint to cover over the plate. And wouldn't you know, when I peeled off the masking tape on this one, it was a bit dodgy, but the first one I did, that one was super clean and beautiful. So of course the one I did on camera didn't turn out as well. But here's a trick, if you take a Q-tip soaked in nail polish remover, you can go along those lines and really clean them up and make them look a lot nicer. This is how it turns out. As you can see, the smaller one looks a lot nicer. Just saying. I don't know how that happened, but I would recommend using really sticky masking tape or painter's tape for this one. So that is everything I have for this video today. I was really pleased with how these DIYs turned out. I think that was some of my favorites I've ever, ever made. If you like these videos, I'm thinking of turning into a series. So please let me know in the comments down below if you like it and I will make more. And also giving me a thumbs up lets me know that you like it too, so don't forget to do that. And that is everything. I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you in my next video. Bye.